Hey guys, it's Renee. For today's DIY, I just want to share with you how to go from this till this with just one step. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. This is where I keep um, part of my collection. As you can see, I have a lot of makeup, guys. <laughs> just kidding. Here's where I keep my brushes and kind of mascaras, all drugstore. And here is where I keep them in this mag that I bought at um, Disneyland. It's kind of like really old as you can see, but I love it. it says this in the back. And um, this is where I keep or I store my, my things. The I, things that I use like more often because I like this space. I don't use it to drink coffee anymore because it's this would be a lot of coffee. I used to drink milk here, but then um I don't know, I just wanted to I use it as a decoration item, I guess. But the main point of this video is to show you here's all I can see. So I can see what I really have. I can see like the smallest items like this brush. And there's a lot of items that I can't see because my my mug is taller than those items. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. Take this out like that. Well, this is like my set collection right here. But anyways, this is just not a makeup collection or anything like that. It's just a tiny DIY that I want to share with you. So what I need for this is actually a piece of foam block. I have the entire thing right here and all I did is just cut it this part with a knife and then cut it um, you know, an edge in there. This is really dirty, sorry about that. But you can get them at craft stores or places like that. So what I'm going to do is first of all put my mug in here and this is just a piece of uh, paper that I have and I'm just going to mark how big or how small my mug is. It's not really perfect at all. I'm just going to cut this bit here and I'm just going to get more than I cut it. Because this was on the outside, so I need to remove like this space right here. Hope that makes sense. This is gonna be like my template right here. I'm just going to place it on the top of my block of foam, and I'm just going to cut the excess. You can use any kind of knife. I would suggest you to work with a knife that you don't really use for cooking anymore. Because while well, you're cutting something that is not edible, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, at all, because it's going to be in anyways. But just until you have only like the circle in there, and you can always smooth the edges. And there you go, I think. And then you can pretty much push it until it's all inside. So I'm just going to tell you I have another piece or, or another layer of my foam board because I realized I wanted to be taller. I'm just going to show you with this piece what I did before. Be really careful. A piece of uh, wax paper or parchment paper or something. Just kill. I'm just going to be doing the same thing that I did before. This my time is doing the same thing that I did before. Oh, this is how much I am using it away. And I'm just going to be cleaning the mug. You can always like push it, the item. So we will um, print kind of its shape. I'm not gonna do it because this way to just randomly put my items in there. I don't have to worry about wondering what space was for what. But you know that's kind of a personal preference. But I just want to share this one. I'm happy with this one because now I can actually see from wherever angle I am the item I need and I just quickly grab it. Again this is just a quick DIY that it happens to be makeup related. This is not going to turn into makeup uh, shell because I don't really have that many things, just don't really use makeup. I like it, otherwise I wouldn't have this. And it doesn't have to be a MAC actually, it has to be anything that uh, you can place things inside of there and it's like, kind of has like potential to work as a makeup storage type MAC, we could say. But yeah, I just wanted to share this one. If you like it, don't forget to let me know, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe and share this one if you enjoy or if you think it's somebody that you know will enjoy this one. And I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and add more because with one piece this is just one option. 
but um, I want it taller because my mom, my mug is my mom. Okay, 